It is confirmed that the next Battlefield game will be launching on all platforms. So it will be launching on PS4, Xbox One, the next generation consoles and PC of course as well. But last night at the time of recording, it was confirmed by the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson, that yes, the next Battlefield game will be launching on PS4 and Xbox One. And it will be interesting to see how they scale back this game because there was some talk about the fact that they could reduce the player count, maybe even reduce the size of the maps and even scale back the destruction. Now if you are a current generation owner are you excited about the fact that you will be able to play the next Battlefield game without upgrading to the next generation hardware? You know I think a lot of people will because many people own those PS4 and Xbox One consoles and I think from a business point of view it would be pretty stupid to launch a new Battlefield game and not release it on PS4 and Xbox One. From a business point of view imagine how much money they would be losing because let's not forget most people own those ps4 and xbox one consoles so i think from a business point of view they would be making a bit of a mistake but i think also there is a certain level of expectation because i think people still will sort of think that we want to see 64 players on ps4 and xbox one we want to see a decent frame rate we want to see 60 fps we don't want to see 30 fps so i think there will be a certain level of expectations even though it is releasing on the past generation consoles so they do need to make sure that they still make sure that this is optimized but I think the best course of action here from EA would be to say you know buy the past generation version of Battlefield and then get a free upgrade to the next generation version when you can get one of those new Xboxes or Playstations. Now many people were also saying that this could hinder the whole development of the next Battlefield game but I don't think it will and it seems as if according to the leaks from Tom Henderson and let's hope that he is correct you know we've heard things like 128 players being able to take down skyscrapers things like that so it doesn't seem like they are being hindered by those past generation consoles but it's going to I'm very interested to, to see how this is going to scale like how is this going to scale on the PS4 and Xbox One are you going to be able to completely level every building are you going to be able to destroy skyscrapers and things like that so it's going to be interesting to see that sort of scalability and I'm, I'm very interested to see those sort of comparisons between PS4 and PS5 so that's going to be quite interesting but we are going to have to wait until June to see this game and that has been confirmed by Andrew Wilson the CEO that yes we're going to see the reveal trailer in June but again let me know your thoughts on this topic are you excited about the fact that it will be coming to all platforms or do you think it could hurt development of the next Battlefield game make sure to like and subscribe and and make sure you have all bell notifications on and until next time have a good one